besides being involved with sensory information, the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve is the one that's involved with motor information. And that's the branch that places the trigeminal nerve in the motor category, in addition to the sensory category, like the ophthalmic and the maxillary branches. So when we look at the motor function of the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve, what we see is that it innervates the muscles involved with mastication. So it innervates the masseter muscle, it innervates the temporalis muscle, and also it innervates the lateral and medial pterygoid muscles. We see as well that the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve innervates the muscle that allows us to open our jaw, specifically the anterior belly of the digastric. The anterior belly of the digastric is positioned anteriorly, and when it contracts, it allows us to open our jaw. And also, what we see is that the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve innervates the mylohyoid. Guys, mylo means mandible. So it innervates the mylohyoid. And the mylohyoid is a muscle that's sitting right here under the mandible. And when it contracts, it elevates the hyoid bone and helps us to swallow.